Next we have test points. So test points are the fault injection feature. So test points allow you to basically stop the test at, at any given point um, and modify something in order for to see if the code can handle uh, like a fault or some kind of some kind of error that you've injected um, to see if the code can handle it. So again, we can choose what function we actually want the uh, test point or the fault or the injection, I should say. It doesn't have to be a fault. It, it just some kind of a test point where we're going to stop the system to do something. So we've got two different test points set up to exemplify the different uh, ways to set up the test points. So depending on who's doing the testing, sometimes test engineers don't have access to actually modify the source code. So in this case, we can um, set up a test point just on the unique line of code. So in this case, we're going to be searching um, the, the function, the module where this function is in. And we're going to be starting from line zero. We're going to be searching in code only, uh, plain text, and we're going to look for the pattern, this, this return ret pattern. And so that's sort of, that's one way you can set up a test point to try to find a unique uh, line of code to set the test point at. The more convenient and, and sort of recommended if you have access to, to actually modify the source codes, <clears throat> you can set up a comment and then you can place the comment wherever you want on any line of code where you actually want the, uh, the test point to be, to be set at. So in this case, again, we're going to be searching from line zero, but in the comments only this time, and we're going to be searching for a special comment, a test ID, test func. So those are the, the two different ways to set up a test point. And once you have the test point set up, then you determine what exactly you want to do. So here we're going to be replacing uh, the return with return plus 11 on the first pass, return plus 22 on the second pass, and return plus 33 on the third pass. We're also going to be logging off uh, the pointer to A, the A pointer, and um, return both before and after we do the, the logging or the assignment. Okay, so that's so so a very simple um, you know action that we've we've set up for the test point. You can do a much more sophisticated action like create some kind of. Uh, corruption of the ECC or, or some other more sophisticated type of failure using this script function here. So you can basically execute a script when you hit this test point and the script can, can really do uh, anything you can manually do in the debugger. So the debugger is running behind this as well, I, I forgot to mention. Um, we launched test idea from, from WinIdea. So WinIdea is always running in the background. So anything you can do in WinIdea you have access to within test ID as well. So we could write a script function that, you know, reprograms some memory or, you know, sets up some type of fault state that we want to, that we want to test 